In this equation, we have Fe2O3 plus HNO3. This is iron three oxide, and this is nitric acid, a strong acid. To balance this equation, we'll first count the atoms up, and we're gonna use a bit of a trick to make this a lot easier. So we have two iron atoms, three oxygen atoms, one hydrogen, and then this nitrate ion here. It stays together in the chemical reaction. We have it here, and then we have the nitrate ion over here. Since we have it on both sides, we're going to count it as one thing. We have one nitrate ion in the reactants. In the products, we have one iron, one oxygen, two hydrogens, and then the nitrate ion again, we have three of those. So three nitrate ions. So it makes it a lot neater when we write it this way, easier to understand what we need to do. Let's put a coefficient of two in front of the iron three nitrate. Now we have one times two. That'll give us two. We balance the iron atoms. And then for the nitrates, we have one times three. So we have three times two. We have six nitrate ions here. Since we have a pretty big number for the nitrates, let's balance the nitrates next. We could put a six in front of the nitric acid. So one times six, that would give us six hydrogen atoms, but one nitrate times six, that would give us six nitrate ions there. So those are balanced. Now all that's left to do is figure out the oxygen and the hydrogen. If we put a three here in front of the H2O, two times three, that balances the hydrogen atoms. I think that balances the oxygens as well. One times three, that would give us three and we're done. This equation is balanced. The key here, if you have a polyatomic ion like the nitrate ion and it's on both sides of the equation, just count that as one thing. That'll make the balancing a lot easier. Either way, you get the same answer. It's just a little bit faster. And that can be important on exams. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.